Let's take a look at what's new in ForeFlight Mobile 6.4. Performance planning gives you options to add details to your aircraft profile for a more accurate fuel burn and time en route estimate. Navigate to More, then Aircraft to manage your aircraft profiles. You can tap on an existing profile or tap on the plus symbol to add a new profile. Open the profile, scroll down, and you'll see the new data fields. Tap on each line to enter ground, climb, cruise, and descent performance data. I'll just finish up this one here and then tap Done to save. Back on the Maps view in the Route Editor, I can select that aircraft profile I was just working on. Tapping the I is a shortcut to your aircraft profile data. You can edit and save changes from this view too. With the planned route entered and the aircraft selected, now tap on the Altitude Advisor button. The Altitude Advisor generates a current winds aloft forecast, which is integrated into your flight performance calculation. It will adjust for things like more time and climb to your higher planned altitude, and also the winds at different altitudes during your climb and descent. Altitude Advisor uses your aircraft performance data to make assumptions about how much time it will take your aircraft to climb to the selected cruise altitude before it needs to descend to the destination. The winds aloft entries are shown as dashes for altitudes above this point, and no wind performance data will be displayed in the nav log. Also in 6.4, ForeFlight Mobile's sync capability is expanded to include aircraft profiles and flight plans. When you add or edit aircraft profiles, like adding the new performance planning data fields we just went over, the changes now sync across devices. Sync also gives you more flexibility to move between devices during the flight planning and filing process. Plan your route and start your flight plan form on your iPad, then file or make changes on your iPhone. Each flight plan form field change or change in flight plan status is reflected on each device when it next connects to the internet. The text weather brief associated with a flight plan also syncs. For Stratus 2 customers, ForeFlight Mobile 6.4 delivers firmware update version 1.6 to the Stratus 2 and unlocks the receiver's flight data recorder capability. Flight recording is a great tool for flight instructors and new pilots to visually debrief each flight. Students can see progress over time as they practice maneuvers, and instructors can reinforce the effects of wind on performing those maneuvers. Record position, speed, and altitude data throughout each flight onto the receiver's built-in memory. You can set the Stratus to record automatically when the unit is powered on, and the built-in GPS senses motion. In this mode, recording continues until the Stratus is turned off. After your flight, transfer the track log data to ForeFlight Mobile, where you can view, share, and debrief on all of your devices. To update the Stratus firmware, connect to the Stratus Wi-Fi network, then navigate to More, Devices, tap on the firmware prompt to begin the update. The final big addition to 6.4 is World Aeronautical Charts. Charts built and designed for VFR pilots flying long distances above 10,000 feet. To get World Aeronautical Charts on your iPad, first navigate to More, Downloads, and then confirm that World Aeronautical Charts are turned on for the region you desire. Back on the Maps page, World Aeronautical Charts can then be selected as a base map. Among other things, WAC charts give pilots greater coverage over Mexico, the Bahamas, and parts of the Caribbean. For more information, please visit our blog or our website. And as always, send any questions to team at fourflight.com. From all of us here at Team Fourflight, thank you.